When it comes to creating Microsoft Teams, you may be thinking there's only one option, which is creating a brand new team from scratch. But equally, there are better options in Microsoft Teams that can save you a whole heap of time when it comes to creating a team that works for you and also your wider team. So in this video, we're gonna uncover all of the options and ensuring that you have all the best information to make that right choice and ultimately to get that Microsoft team created quickly. So to get started, all we need to do is access the Microsoft Teams app. That can be on the web or as I'm currently in the desktop app. And I'm also using the latest version of Teams. But likewise, if you're using the earlier version, you'll find the same options, just some slight visual changes. But to get started with creating a team, head into the Teams tab. This lists all of the teams you're a part of, and we're interested in creating a new team. So we're gonna to head to the top and click on the plus icon. And when you do that, you'll see an option to create or join a team. We're gonna go ahead and select create. And here are three options we're gonna be covering in today's tutorial. The first option is creating a team from scratch. That allows you to create a brand new Microsoft team without any pre-existing content. Most people select this because they don't know the other options available to them. That means that the channels, the tabs and other content is not copied or effectively pre-created for you. You need to then put the effort in to create the team to meet your particular needs. But equally, as we can see on this screen, we have a range of templates. These are Microsoft templates provided to us that we can utilize to pre-build a Microsoft team. Now equally, some of these templates won't meet your requirements. For example, there's a healthcare template. Maybe you don't work in healthcare, so you're not gonna go and select that template right. But equally, what if you're managing a project? That happens quite a lot and Teams is very good for that purpose. Well, Microsoft give us a template we can use for that. We can even go and select on that template. And when we do, we can now see what's included as part of the deal. Here we have four channels which are gonna be granted. But interestingly, eight apps are also gonna be deployed. These are Microsoft apps, therefore they're not third party apps but you can also see reference to an issue tracker and also a project tracker. And those actually are SharePoint or Microsoft lists included as part of the template. So if we select that, we'll also get them actually delivered to us that we can further refine or instantly use as part of this template. So using this template will give us components in the SharePoint area of your Microsoft team alongside the channels and the other apps that are shown. It's a real powerful feature that most people overlook. What we can then do if you're happy with this template is select use this template. When you select that, we now need to make a decision. Is this team private or public? No matter what team you're gonna create it from, whether that's a brand new team from scratch or one of these templates, you'll always have this option to consider. The best way I can summarize this for you is a private team is effectively restricted by named persons. If your name's not on the list, you're not coming into the team. That means when you create this team, you as the owner are gonna be able to add and remove others by name. But equally, no one in the wider company can stroll into your Microsoft team and have a look at your files, chat, and conversations all around that project. In some scenarios, you may not want that level of control. It can become a bit of a burden, especially if your project is not, in this way, very private. It may be that you want anyone in your company to access this team freely without naming those individuals. They can come and go without any say-so from one of the owners. Well, you would then select public. Public means it's open to all. They can join and leave freely. In most cases, however, teams are going to be private. You're collaborating for a purpose. Files and conversations shouldn't be seen by anyone in the organization. That's obviously really important. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this as a private team to show you that experience. Don't adjust those YouTube sets. I'm just here very quickly to let you know that here at Your365 Coach, we can also help with training, coaching, and consultancy. So if you, your business, or your team are struggling in Microsoft 365, check out the link below 
or you can book in a call with us to find out how we can help you. Not only that, on our website, you can even download a free Microsoft 365 ebook, giving you the latest tips and tricks to get the most from Microsoft 365. Anyway, let's get back to it. Now, once we've done that, we also need to name our team and give it a description. The team name is really important. In some cases, we don't want to name the actual project. It might be an office closure in San Francisco. That is fine to name it, but equally others may see it later on a shared file or even over your shoulder. So in some cases, it's good to name your team something a little bit more obscure. And likewise, the naming convention of your team is also put into the SharePoint URL. Long URLs in SharePoint can lead to problems, so very descriptive team names I generally would avoid. So here, name your team and give it a description that helps you and your colleagues understand the purpose of this team. And once we've done that, we can also select customized channels. Now in here, because we're using a template, we're actually given the channels as part of the template are gonna be created for us and we could rename them accordingly. I'm quite happy with these as part of the template, so I'm gonna go click on done. Now once we've done that, we can then select create on this screen to go ahead and create our new Microsoft team. Now we can, however, at this point, click on close and close down this window because equally, you might want then to have a chat with someone on Teams or continue working, but you can come back later and pick up the team when it's been fully created. So I'm gonna go down and close this window whilst our team is being created from that project management template. So here we are inside of my project and that was created from that project plan that we've taken as a template. Now we can immediately see that we get apps and channels inside of the team pre-created for me. On the left, we have announcements, planning and resources. But equally on that general tab, we also have an issue tracker. Now when I open this, as you can see, this is a Microsoft list. By clicking new, we'll even see it's been pre-configured with all the columns of data because a template we selected included this as part of it. So you've saved a whole heap of time when it comes to having an issue tracker and a project tracker being created inside of your team that you can use immediately for any configuration of a Microsoft or SharePoint list. So this way in creating teams from templates is quite powerful and can save you easily hours in setting up a team for you and your colleagues to work in. So let's consider another way. Yes, we've looked at creating that team from a template, but what if you or your colleagues has an amazing Microsoft team that you've built that works really well and you would like to take inspiration or the dreaded word, copy that team? Well, Teams has that capability. On the left-hand side here, we see an option to create a team from another team. And inside of here, I can see existing teams I have access to. And here I have a business development team. When I select this team here, it'll allow me to copy or clone this team, give me a brand new team. But equally, as we see at the bottom, it can also give me tabs, team settings, and apps inside of that team. But even better, if the team has the right security model, as in the members, you can also copy them into your brand new team. So in this scenario, I'm gonna ensure all the options here are selected. It's also going to be a private team. We can now update the team name and give it a description in readiness to create this team. And here is exactly that. I've now got a business development team for the US, which was copied from my original team that we created for a different area of the business. I can go ahead and then click on create. It'll now go ahead and create that team. And once it's completed, we're gonna see all of the apps, channels, and even the security being copied over into that brand new team. And I can now begin adding other people to my team. So you see this dialogue allows you to add others. Here I could drop in here and add one of my colleagues, maybe Nestor, who's one of the directors. Clicking on Nestor's name, I can then add him into that team and also promote Nestor to an owner if I would like to also manage my team. It's always good practice to have two owners of your team, allow someone to pick it up if you're taking that well-earned break 
and sitting on the beach. So with that now set, click on add and now the team is complete, including Nestor as another owner alongside myself. We actually see in this business development for the US team, we have a travel requests area. Now that was also part of our existing team that we copied from, but unlike templates, this data is not cloned or copied. So I need to recreate the travel list. As we can see, all of these channels are now available for us to use and begin populating. And I could have easily saved 10 to 20 minutes of setting up all of the tabs, the channels and the security when all I had to do was copy from that existing team. And importantly, your new team is in no way synced to the one it's been copied from. So you have the full control over your team to make change without touching the existing team where it came from. And our final option, well, is the most basic, but sometimes, of course, the most configurable, and I would sometimes say the most used. Because if we click on the plus icon and click create team, we can select a team from scratch. Most people select this without knowing anything about the other options I've already shown you today. Here again, we can define the security. This could be a private team, and we can give it a name and a description once again. Once we've done that, hit on that create button and it'll create the team. Now, as we're creating it from scratch, this is a normal instantaneous process. The team will be immediately created. Now we can, as we've shown earlier, begin adding members. But equally, I can do that later by clicking skip. And inside the project sphere, unlike the other options we've seen today, there are no additional channels, tabs, or any Microsoft list that have been pre-created. Here now you can begin to create channels and tabs and content to meet your particular needs. And that can take a little bit of time. In all of these options, and as I just mentioned, if you want to maintain security to your team, all you need to do is click on the free dot menu next to your team name, click on add member, and you can once again add and remove others from your team. In this dialog, it adds people in. But if you want to also remove them, go into manage team, and then under members, you will then see all the members and owners you can remove from your team. So it's very straightforward when it comes to creating a team and the security model behind it, we now know of three options that we can use to create a brand new Microsoft team that can make it even easier when it comes to create that team and save a whole heap of time. And there we have it, three simple options to create that brand new Microsoft team. Sure, we have that one to go and create it from scratch, giving you the greatest flexibility, but we have the other two options to save you even more time when it comes to creating that team. I mean, you can get to the important stuff without having to worry about setting up channels, tabs, and all the other content. Now, if this video has helped you, we'd love it, hit that like button. But not only that, why not come on the journey with us? Subscribe to this channel to find more great content like this that we publish every single week to make you into a productivity superstar. Otherwise, we'll be seeing you on the next one.